right, y'all. So we out here on this road. I don't know who I think I am. I guess I'm gonna have to start vlogging my road trips more or whatever, but sister girl been getting on that road, packing up these kids. Can y'all see? Dawson, you still got your seatbelt on? Yeah. Okay. And so, um, we're headed to Savannah. Savannah, Georgia. So we are, um, we've already left home a couple hours ago. We're almost near Houston. Um, I believe we're going to go to Houston, but we're heading towards Shreveport, Louisiana. So we're going to go from Texas to Louisiana. Um, There's a slow down there. To Mississippi, to Alabama, and we're going to stop in Alabama in the white sand beaches. Orange Beach and Gulf Coast, some, some, some golf something uh, beach and um I didn't forgot y'all y'all know I did all my studying but it, it just never comes to me when I start talking about it um and then we're going to um get on into Georgia now because we're going to Savannah we're going all the way to the coast all the way over there and then um That port in Savannah is pretty popular. So maybe we, we might see some cruise, line, cruise lines coming through there. All the big container ships come through there. Bringing in all the supplies on that end. And I just can't wait for my boys to see that. Um, the hotel we're staying in is uh, the JW. And it's brand new. It was brand new when we went a few years ago. And it should be finished now. It was still under construction next door. And... Uh, it's geology theme, like archaeology and the dinosaurs. I just cannot wait for my son Eric to see this hotel. And I told them I was going to bring them. It's very expensive. But, you know, I just say we really want to enjoy ourselves. And one thing about Savannah, you're going to pay for the hotel and stuff, but everything else y'all do is going to be basically free. Other than maybe the dolphin, the dolphin tour. It's like eleven dollars a person. The food, you know, is reasonable. It's the South. We're gonna eat out or whatever. That might be the most expensive thing next. The next expensive thing after the hotel is just covering y'all food. Um, we're driving, so we ain't gotta rent no car, no Ubering, and all that mess. Um, you can do a lot of walking, a lot of outdoors, a lot of park. You can go to the beach. We go to Tybee Island, which is my favorite beach. Judge your mama. It's beautiful. Tybee Island is beautiful. Not only that, it's different. It's just a different feeling out there. Um, it comes with a lot of healing. And um, I just really enjoyed Tybee Island the last time we were there. Now, I've been to other beaches. Um, now, I will say uh, California and Florida are very popular around spring break and most of all different uh, going out the country different countries like because their weather is a lot better right now and we're still we're in the spring in America so uh, I looked up I looked up the weather and I know Savannah wouldn't do me no wrong because it's taking me a while to be able to get back because it's a long drive coming from Frisco it's a 15 hour drive it's going to take a while um it's about 11.30 in the morning right now. Um, we won't have to check in to our hotel till 4 p.m. tomorrow. So we gonna road trip and stop and sightsee and enjoy all this time on our way there. Um, I, listen, I declared the other day when I woke up. I was so exhausted from trying to get prepared and run our daily lives and talk to teachers and make sure everybody got what they need. And this person got to go to school early. This person got to go to school late. All the appointments and doctors just trying to sum up things because it's spring and I always get to planning a lot all over again. Like I'm preparing for renewal almost. <laughs> I'm 
but I'm cleaning out, I'm clearing out, I'm getting rid of stuff, I'm getting carpet cleaned, and just, you know, revising things around the house in our personal lives, our schedules and everything, and summing up things because this is ultimately, ultimately leading to the last quarter of the school year, and especially that I, uh, I got a fifth grader and a, sixth, and a seventh grader, they're expected of quite a bit, you know, toward this time of the year and, and a lot should be already completed. And then we're getting ready for summer camp and all that stuff. So it's just a lot of stuff going on. However, I declared that this is my last time having to go on a road trip with all these ones without being in a relationship. Now I said, because I know me, I'm gonna find a way around that eventually because I'll be like, Lord, the peace of mind that comes by yourself. It's either a relationship or a nanny, okay? Because it's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. But alright, so um we are going to tune back in with you guys as we make our next stop. What I should have did was vlog me preparing because I always pack so well. Like, we don't forget nothing. Like, I make sure everybody got what they need. Um, and the boys know it. They're always so satisfied and so comfortable. I don't care if we just going back home. Um, we get on that road, we pack up everything we need. And they get the stuff that they want. And I do all the ultimate packing. So I may ask them to grab five pair of underwear, five t-shirts or socks or whatever it is and um then i do the ultimate packing because i gotta make sure it's in there for me to be able to sleep right now my oldest i got it i got it, I got it. every time every time i allow him to pack himself he never has what he needs his outfits are never what what i would have wanted them to be it's always something so even at 13 i just pack this bag um now what I used to do is, cause I've done this before and it worked out well, where they get the stuff, I allowed them to get it, but I check it before he put it in the bag. So, but I think that was for him to go home with his dad. I'm more particular like than for him to be with me cause everybody gotta have be in order if you roll with me. Y'all know how mean it can be, uh, sloppy, and just throw on basketball shorts and a t-shirt the whole weekend. Uh-uh, we getting dressed dressed. Okay, we on vacation, but we getting dressed dressed. <laughs> but anywho, y'all, all right, I'm going to check back in in a little bit. We about to get some more mouths up under us. <clears throat> Hopefully by the next time I talk to y'all, we be in Louisiana. Now, I might stop in Houston and get some food. I said I was going to try turkey leg hook again or Lotus Seafood. Man, I've been wanting to go there. I could have been and drove up to Houston and drove down to Houston and got that seafood, but I just been lazy. I ain't even going to say lazy. It really ain't me being lazy. Stop down. Um, it really is having so much on my plate and I'll be so wore out that I don't have any time for me, for my desires, or my needs. And that's what it is. So we're going to get better. Though. It's 2022. We're going to get better. All right, y'all. Peace. Hey, y'all. All right. So we are in Louisiana. <clears throat> We've been here for a few hours. We almost to Mississippi. I'm actually just a few miles out from Monroe, Louisiana. We went through Shreveport. We got a chance to ride on the campus of Grambling State University. And it's something because, like, as a kid, I always thought it was, like, some big, beautiful campus, you know, big, and it just looks so different as an adult than what I expected. But, yes, we rode through Grambling State University, woo-woo, GSU, and then I stopped to get some food, <clears throat> wasn't the greatest, but we are back on the road, and, um, yeah, so we'll be back. What else was I supposed to tell him, Dawson? I forgot. I don't even know, y'all. 
you to come back to me. Yeah, we're headed to Mississippi. I said that. Um, ultimately, yeah, we'll end up in Savannah, Georgia. Every time we say Savannah, Georgia, Savannah says, me, me, I'm right here, mommy. I'm right here. <laughs> she thinks we're talking about her. Um, so this is about to be an interesting week in Savannah all weekend hearing people say Savannah and how she reacts to it. Funny. I'll try to get it on camera. If you guys can hear her now. She's like, oh, me? Me? Me, mommy? <laughs> um, but yeah, so peace. See y'all later. Hey, y'all. <laughs> so guess what? We made it. And I forgot. I, I haven't been vlogging. We just left uh, breakfast. We just went to Cracker Barrel. Kept it simple. Um, in and out. It was all right. Um, I have not been to Cracker Barrel in a while. And now we're headed to finally be at a check in the hotel. So in the south, your check-ins are late, you know. And we've been on the road all day or all night last night. All day yesterday, all night last night, and then all this morning. So I cannot wait to get me a shower and change my clothes. I'm probably going to kick my feet up because the road just is bad on my body. Swell up so so bad, um, and then I'm a um, they two of my kids is ready to go. One is begging to lay down and go to sleep. Um, so tomorrow will probably be the day we really get started. But tonight I told today I told him we can go walk out on the riverfront because I didn't get us a hotel out on the island. We stand in downtown Savannah. Cause I want them to get the full experience of Savannah and um, I love this hotel y'all I cannot wait to show y'all how beautiful it is my kids are going to be thrilled um, and so I'm gonna make sure I vlog as we're going in and uh, getting unpacked and stuff and so if you're worried about can you do this or not can you travel with children and by yourself yes you can <laughs> and near the beaches it's everybody the hospitality is outstanding so it's always someone trying to help it's lots of mothers and women it's plenty of people everywhere um even males that want to help you it's it's sort of like you might have traveled by yourself as one adult but once you get to where you're going you're not the only adult in the mix so um yeah let me think so, like, a good example of that is they begged me. Um, we've been saying we was going to go to the indoor skydiving for a long time. I didn't vlog that. I should have. That was a grand experience. Um, and we went. Well, I was even thinking for a second, where is Savannah going to go while we are flying? And I didn't realize we got to get all buckled up and suited up and booted up and inside this whole container you know away from everybody and she can't go in there so there was another grandma and grandpa that were taking their grandkids and the first thing they asked was do you need us to keep her for you and i'm like yes because clearly i didn't spend all this money and didn't even realize who's gonna watch savannah so yeah y'all i've i have enjoyed all of this um so what we're going to do now is get back to the hotel, get comfortable, get good and clean, and I'll be back. I know me. I ain't going to want to lay in that hotel not one second once I get out the shower. I'm feeling tired now, but I know I'll be feeling different in a few minutes. So I'm going to get back with y'all in a few minutes. Bad peace. <laughs> I know, look at that. Hi, we're checking. Sorry. You're here for three nights, correct? Yes. This is so pretty. Yesterday? 
Yes, all day. I just pulled over in Macon and slept because we were so close. So, sparkling wine. Yep, y'all want some water? Savannah, you want some water? Okay, stand up. Get your water. Pull your shirt down. Thank you. Thank you so much. Right? Oh. Uh -huh. The first one is worth $10 and the boutique underneath the dinosaur right over here. Uh-huh. And then I have three that are worth $32 a piece. Okay. And any of our 13 restaurants are located. Oh, wow. 13 restaurants. Can I get some paper towels? Because she... Stop, Nanny. Okay. Stop. Uh, Come on. Let's see what this ro a rooftop pool is talking about. I know, she said the rooftop pool is in this building. Mom, I can't see your bag man in your room. Yep, that's exactly what you are. Thank you. Oh my God. I'm filming. Whoa. Hello. Right here, guys. Hold on, hold on. The, the garage is back this way. This is Georgia Southern University in the Kessler Collection. That's where I got all these guitars from. Look at the drum. Dawson. The drums. You see the saxophone, Dawson, and the trumpet? Come on, here go the uh, elevators right here, actually. Mom, did you know all wooden guitars? All wooden drums go with Here, Eric. Dallas, but we're originally from Indianapolis, Indiana. Only been in Dallas like almost two years. Yeah, a second. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow, look at the little boat out there. Come on, Eric. Come on, let's get checked in. Alrighty, thank you. Did you jump on that bed? Yeah. So this side don't have all the, the diamonds and stuff in the room, which is cool. All right, y'all. This is our evening container ship schedule. Cruise. Look at this. Y'all, listen. I can't explain to you how big this ship is. Like, I can't. But just imagine each one of those things are big trains, like whole cargo trains. You got the smaller ones and you got the larger ones. This is how, I mean, like, Georgia, right here in Savannah, got a big port. Sometimes we might even see, oh, my God, look at the nose. Look at the nose. I just wish you guys could see how big this is. It's so big. You see it, Savannah? Wow. <laughs> Look at the control tower. Look at this. Wow, Mama. Like, I could literally, this one is so good. Let's be nosy. What they doing? Look, I already zoomed in. I did the line. <laughs> what y'all are doing? What's that spin? Hey, let's see if we can get somebody waving at us. 
Yo, way. Oh. Swing to somebody. See if you can blow the horn. Y'all, we are so happy. Look at this. Look at that tugboat coming behind it. So this container ship, they blew their horn. And as soon as we opened up the blinds, they was just waving at us and everything. I don't even know why this makes me so excited. But I'll just be like, something this big has to be amazing to be sitting here watching this. Look at the waves. Look at the All right, guys. I was being really be. dramatic like on this river. part. But let me tell you. I am so serious. It will be amazing. This, we see some these container ships to really excite me. Thank you so much for watching the channel. Don't forget to go like, comment, and subscribe. And keep supporting your girl. Bye.